Hello everyone, this is Gorax. In today's video, we will go over Pillar of Dark levels 51 to 60, including the boss. I believe this level 59 and level 60 on the, in this pillar is the hardest one, so hopefully this video walkthrough will help you achieve your goal. So when it comes to the Pillar of Dark, I believe this team will be one of the best. Obviously, I have a few other choices thanks to all the teams that I managed to build for um, the other world exploration. But I'm going to use Quest Tetia as a tank in most of the cases. I can switch it with Horus. Horus is a brick wall as well. Uh, Adolphus as a shielder plus healer. We got Zarlov as well. And Eric, who everybody should have, plus... Palacity. I'm actually ru running the wrong set on her, but yeah, let's let's do this. We're gonna go with crit damage and let's see how easy or hard it is. Hi, Ragewood. I'm alright. How are you? So we can speed it up. Uh, all we need to do is make sure that the back lane survives. Okay, so <clears throat> the last pillar that we've done was actually quite hot and we can see that here that we are suffering there's no much defense i mean playing ice blast playing frost radiance is just such a big spoil because you have everyone in the back lane is so safe because of garry's shields and stuff but maybe we can st we can still pass this level I mean, ideally, at the end, we want to run to um, two tanks later on, but Questetti at the moment is quite good. I mean, we suffered a lot of damage loss because Felicity is gone, but Sustain Wines, we're, we're good, and there's no much backline damage here in this team. Um, so, yeah, hopefully we'll be able to pass. It's just a Karaman, the first Assassin. I was I was pretty much 100% chance of happening of someone squishing the backline dying. Mm. So next stage, let's try uh, maybe a different team. So this is my Pillar of the Dark team, but we can also look at teams like... No, it's, it's not a good team to show, really. And I can't run this. But maybe something like that, like four in the back. Mm, so we'll use a replicas here and four in the back. This is the team that I use for it's actually better this way. This is the team that I use for Shane Acton. Uh, so let's see if this team can work at this level. Because obviously ideally we want to use the heroes that we are using already. And if we've built team for Shine Acton and this goes through, but it's it's very squishy. I mean our backline is super squishy nonetheless. I mean most of these heroes that I'm using here are not scrolled, and now we lost our main healer. So we'll see we'll see if Rebecca can survive the next stage. And yeah, there's Dane, okay? So two Danes, that is going to do a lot of damage. So I'm afraid we will, yeah, as you can see, we're dead. So we definitely need to adjust it. Um, but I think this is actually one of my weakest uh, teams, like this affinity. Well, let's see, okay, another another team that we can try. <clears throat> here just to just to see and then compare it with the first team as the uh, uh, my burn team okay so i'm not using akatis uh, as sorry <clears throat> oh wow <laughs> yeah we're just dying okay so the devricks they do a lot of damage they do a lot of damage we we want to make sure they die first and obviously i'm playing everything on um on auto, so that's not ideal. <clears throat> we want to play it manually. Because as you could see in the previous fight, we were focusing the tanks 
oh, that, that was terrible, actually. That was what I wanted to avoid. But we need to focus on the enemies. And this is what I believe on, on the damage dealers. This is what I believe. In this case, we're going like, to kill that horse. But this is why I believe two tanks is such a good pick for all these trials. Because when you play two tanks... Um, the two tanks will take a focus out of most of this AoE. And this is what's happening here. This is what's killing us, that AoE here. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to dump him. And I'm going to put um, Horus. Alright, so he's already got an equipment on. So <clears throat> we can try that. And instead we'll go HP. We want to survive this. And I should have actually put those tanks closer to each other. And delayed the shield. We should have shield when they cast ultimates because they will deal a lot of damage to us. As you can see, we barely survived that. Yeah, let's do that again. We need to shield when the enemies are about to cast the ultimates. And if I do it this way, the tanks will take most of the heat because they are grouped together. So we want to delay the shield. Now, I think like this will be actually a better choice, better first target to kill. We couldn't kill them in a single rotation anyway. And yeah, let's shield now. So we will mitigate that damage, which, which will help us to survive. Obviously, we won't get everything. And as you can see, Eric there was so close to dying. But at least we get one down. Now let's try to get another one. Sadly, we can't single out the damage. And we go shield again, because he's about to cast his ultimate. And we're going to kill the other one. Before that happens, wow, so much damage coming from Devrick. There we go. How's the time? Okay, so yeah, we got the time. Should we shield now? Okay, he's dead. Survive that. We'll wait a little bit longer before we shield. I mean, yes, if you struggle, that's how you should play. You should play it manually. And we shield just now. She's about to do a skill. Now the best way to shield with uh we can we can win without it. With Adolphus is if you want to play hit manually, just wait for him to cast the shield or of well, with his battle skill and then pop his ultimate. This way you will heal the the, the hero. Otherwise it will won't work. Um Okay, so now we need to get rid of these Danes. Okay, they are the main source of the damage here. And we want to shield again. Just run the ultimates. So first Dane is about to cast his ultimate now. So we will shield that damage. We will kill him. That's one main damage dealer gone. And now we do that. We could build Horus with extra, um, yeah, th this head, okay? So that's why, we, sadly, our Adolphus didn't have shield on time. But once we kill Dane, that's that's it. That's the game over here. But so much of a difference when we actually manually play it and we understand what's happening and how our heroes work. Okay, so I use Horus here, but next fight I'll move Horus out and I'll bring Zarlov back in. Because we could have done it with Zarlov as well, I believe. So level 52 cleared. Yeah, okay, so in this case, let's re, re let's remove him. Because I, I want to show you different teams. I mean, the wild team is still one of the best to clear this. 
but we could see the burn team wasn't that bad okay so let's try this burn team here again it's just the survival was not the greatest but we can what we can do here is we can either remove damage source and bring in questetia as well or we can try this i mean this is not a hundred level uh team because i didn't want to use i didn't want to waste resources during um Yeah, I mean, I want to do that. Okay, I, I didn't want to waste resources during the other world exploration. So Liko is low level and she's a single heal. So she only has a single target heal. So that's why this team might not be the best uh, if we take that into consideration. So yeah, because there's so much AoE damage, as you can see. Uh, but who knows? I mean, Durham is, <laughs> Durham is the main damage dealer here. So I don't think we can get passed through that. And the issue with wild team is if you play them manually, they will just focus the ads. Sorry, if you play them on auto, they will focus the ads. So you want to manually cast it. And this team will not work because uh, those guys are not even skilled. So I wouldn't go there. Um, I mean, yeah, we could try this. Uh, but this is only one tank. So, and Neda is so squishy. Uh, I don't like Neda really, but well, let's let's go this. Let's give a little bit more defense, and we'll play it on again manual on those guys. We want to nuke one target as quickly as possible, and with this team we have three damage sources, so it will be way easier. And this is how I played Feymander with this team. But oh wow, yeah, Isolt. Isolt is an issue. Isolt is really really weak. Let's try this again uh, with... Oh, I don't have that equipment with Horus. I mean, I don't like changing all that. It takes so much time changing equipment and stuff. So let's, let's do this. And we'll kill... I mean, he doesn't do that much damage when you play him. But in this team, <laughs> he did quite a lot. So what we want to do here is we want the same thing, focus. The damage dealers, Premstar. I think she's the main source of damage here. And if we kill her, and if you play wild team, this is how you play it with um what's his name? Eric. Oh wow, wow, wow. Okay, is I can't believe it that it's him that is doing so much damage. I just can't believe it. That he's doing so much damage. When you use him, this dude is doing nothing. So let's do this. We're not afraid of this. We'll shield that damage again. A little bit of manual casting, which I really don't like. But if it's the way to win, then why not? Okay, I'm 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 giving him chance okay and now we do this now we shield so we absorb the damage and on the next rotation yeah that's him that's his monsters that are killing us nice good to know good to know we can kill these monsters and if we kill them they don't they don't respawn i believe so let's try this different strategy i mean this is why burn team will be better here because obviously with burn we have more AoE. That's one down. We're going to shield now. Okay, that's dead. Okay, so Questetia got this shield, and when we shield with Adolphus ultimate, um, we heal, okay, if the, if the ally has already a shield on. So this is why I've done it. I shield it at that time to make sure Questetia's HP is recovered, and then we go forward. Okay, so here we have two Theos, and they are doing a lot of damage. So this is who we will get rid of. So our rotation is single target, single target again. 
and he's dead. Now we pulled another hero. We're going to use this. And just before Fio's ultimate, we will apply the shield. But I don't think he will have time to, to cast it. Yeah, we'll definitely finish him off. Yeah, we don't need any of those ultimates now. I'll just split it up a little bit, so... Kill him. Oh wow, what's happening? Why, why are they not dying? Okay, so let's split it up. We still got Felicity. So what do we have here? Zadok. <clears throat> oh, and Lelvanis, yes. Yeah, so definitely we're gonna kick Zadok's ass first. He can dish out a lot of damage and we'll try to... Um, mitigate damage of Lelvanis with a shield. That's what we do, as you can see. We're trying to avoid anything that can share damage with Zadok, and that kills Zadok. And now when we get to Elevani's ultimate, we just need to watch it. Or maybe we'll be able to kill her before. We will shield. Okay, she's dead. Yeah, we didn't even need to shield, but we will just now, just in case something weird happens. That's it. Wasn't that hard. I mean, this team is solid, okay? This team is really solid. We have a healer. Last season, I, I played something similar, but without Questetia, I had Ripekas, and I didn't have Zarlov last season, so I played a free damage sources. So that was way harder. But yeah, this team, this team works if you have them. And I mean, you should have Eric. You might not have Adolphus. You might not have Zarlov. Low chance of you having Questetia if you didn't pull for the banner and Felicity. You can get her from Horn, but yeah, she's quite hard to get as well. And we could try different heroes and formations, but I think this team is like solid. You could replace Questetia with Ripecast, it will work as well. You can run two tanks, you can even replace, um, I would even say you can replace Felicity <coughs> and build Ripecast in, and that will work as well. And damage wise and stuff so yeah two fias two results so this team doesn't seem like it has a lot of damage but i know for a fact that this fias they can do a lot of damage and that's what we're gonna do we're gonna get rid of them um because they surprisingly can do a lot of damage oh, so close but we're gonna kill her right we could have used that as an aoe but when you play wild, that's what you want to do. You want to pick targets. They, they, they have obviously a super strong single target burst, and this is what we why we utilize that. We pick a target and we kill it. Instead of spreading the damage. You want to focus one that is crucial to move to the next stage. And there we go. Oh, no, too late. Yeah, you can use Ripekas as well, if you don't have Adolphus in the in this case. I mean, you can run two tanks, basically. That's, that's what I'm saying, two tanks, and if Zarlov can keep your team alive, then yeah, it's all good. So here there's no damage, okay? So we'll take down the healers first. And Adolphus also does damage, so don't forget that, okay? So he will finish off that. Um, Megan there, and it's not with the ultimate, it's actually quite good. So, yeah, there's no damage there on the enemy team now. Hi, Miran, welcome. Yeah, my day, my day's been fine so good so far. Just trying to finish this. This is the last content I need to finish. Okay, and we got Torin. Okay, so we will kill two Zarlovs first. Zarlov here is doing damage. We can out damage Torin's heal. We can, so I'm not worried about that. Just want to make sure one of the Zarlovs is dead. There we go. So one target's down. We'll just spit it up because uh, I don't think. Oh. 
Which one is Zarlov? I think that was Zarlov, yeah. Now we can do a little bit more AoE. Just kill it. Yeah. But yeah, Wild Team requires a little bit of <coughs> manual casting. Especially when you play against summons. If they summon skeletons, your wild heroes, they will try to use ultimate on them. Okay, they'll try to use ultimate to kill. Okay, so Devrix again, this, this is going to be painful. So similar to previous fight, we need to use the ultimate to absorb the damage and kill at least one Devrix as fast as possible. So now I have a better understanding of what this team can do. <clears throat> so I'll try and kill one Devrix. Oh, we didn't. Okay. So we didn't, but we can get the ultimate here. I mean, if he's not going to kill, maybe like this. Okay. And then we go again. We want to get rid of this Devrick. I mean, it's going so fast at 10 speed that I can't really control it properly. <laughs> uh, yeah, we need to kill the backline here. Those two guys and we're good. So we do this. We cast that. Followed with this. And I, I, do, I wonder if we really need a shield. If we can kill him again. Yeah, okay, so we didn't need a shield, we didn't need a heal, so we can save it for the next stage. And here we want to kill Garika. <clears throat> She's annoying. And she will be painful, but sadly that means we need to split this damage here. Yeah, that's basically what we want to do. And we will shield just about where the ultimates are going to start. And we'll probably kill Garika. There we go. That's the idea. That's the idea with Wild Team. And I mean, you might not have Felicity, but bringing in another strong Wild Hero on top of Varric will work similar in similar fashion. Level 55. So what do we have here? Burn team. Okay, so I'm kind of afraid of the burn team. Because they do a lot of AoE damage. And as you see, our team is not good. So I saw Carf somewhere. We definitely want to get rid of Carf first. Yeah, we don't need to shield yet. Carf is dead. What's that? Oh, that's the goblin with the turrets. Okay, we don't need to shield yet. Now we need to kill Arrakis. Okay, Arrakis can do a lot of damage. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure how much damage these turrets can do. That's the first time I actually <coughs> see that hero being used, because I didn't find him useful. Oh! Oh, okay, that was too fast, and the turret killed us. As I said, I never use that hero. I mean, when, when it comes to damage on the bosses, he doesn't do that much. So yeah, I didn't use him. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna kill the car first. Basically the same strategy, but the next to fall will be that goblin because that was annoying. And so we'll slow down now. I mean, Arrakis or yeah, let's still kill Arrakis. But we need to shield. And I wonder how squishy this this turrets are. Let's see. Okay, not too squishy. If he drops that turret here, that that's what killed us. So we need to kill him. <clears throat> yeah, Arakis will do only damage to our tank. So it's okay and. We killed the burn applier, so his damage also is lower. So that helped us. And now we are waiting for defense down. We'll kill... Is it Durem? I think it's Durem. So if it's Durem, we definitely need to kill Durem. Oh, okay, that's not gonna be too good. But we'll shield just before Percival's ultimate. Percival is a really good hero for the burn team as well. He's the burn... He's basically the cheap version of Durem. Okay, that's him dead now. So he can do a lot of damage. And yeah, let's just single him out. 
Okay, there's no more damage to the backline with this hero there. So we can... Oh, yeah. Oh, that's that's annoying. So what we need to do is we need to kill Karth. If we kill Karth, there's barely anyone to apply um, burn. Unless they build... The AI build Lyle with accuracy, okay? So we know the most damage will be coming from Asketius. Oh man, come on, Felicity, come on. We need to kill it so there's no burn on our team. And he's about to use his ultimate, so we're going to do that. We'll shield, and when he jumps, we'll use our ultimate. There we go. As you can see, we barely survived, and we don't even have burn on our hands. So if we had any burn, we will be dead, like totally annihilated. So that's why we wanted to do that. And I'm just going to kill the tank. Shield here. So there's a few ways to deal with it. Kill Asketius if you manage. And then kill Karf. But Karf is the eas easiest way because if you kill Asketius, Lyle will still do a lot of damage. So Karf is the enabler in that team and you want to get rid of the enabler. So we're at level 57. And yeah, I was afraid of the burn team because it's really hard to counter it and I don't want to put resistance on my heroes but so far this team is solid and here yeah we want to kill this shooting dude okay we got ultimates here we'll kill him yeah, you can see that now when we get to these higher levels, I just can't kill anyone in a single rotation. They're too tanky. So the burst potential of my team is lower, way lower. Okay, I need to wait for Questetia to get a single shield. There you go. And when she gets it, we will heal uh, her. So that's how you top up your tank. Even Horus, that's why Horus is so good. Horus is so good with Adolphus. Because he got his shields constantly. Yeah, so this is this is some briefing space, this team here. There shouldn't be too much damage on that team. So we can take a breather. We'll still shield because he's about to cast his ultimate. Well, we'll kill him anyway. And yeah, now we just delay. Okay, so we're okay. So two Danes and Ripacast. That is going to be hard, and I don't know who is going to be the biggest threat here. I think it's going to be Danes, and since this one got Richard Speed penalty, we'll try to kill that one first. <clears throat> okay, so one is down. Now we need to look at another Danes, second Danes ultimate points, and shield just before. Okay. So Questetia got a shield. We're gonna shield here again, so that will give her an extra healing. We'll try to kill that Dane. I know Edgar is low on HP, but he's a tank. He's not doing too much. And now we can kill both of them. Plus Zarlov ultimate. And Ripakas didn't cast his ultimate even once yet. So that's amazing, because now he is going to, or maybe not, <clears throat> but we'll shield that. Oh, I didn't press. Yeah, so as you can see, Ripakas is another threat. He killed Zarlov, so. Yeah, I didn't press shield in the right time. That's why. And there we go. That's basically the general idea of how to fight. And you just need to adjust your teams to what you see on the screen. Because you might not have all these heroes. Nice. Well done, Sect. See? <clears throat> Good strategy is the key to beating the stages. Okay, so Zadok. Zadok's ultimate goes like this, like ally. So if you avoid your heroes to stand in here, he'll never cast it. But we don't know what's in the next stage, so we still need our tank in the middle. And this is why I like this formation, two and two. I don't like bringing two melees unless there are two tanks. Um, yeah, and since my team is built around crit rate and crit damage, the aura from Felicity, which gives us extra crit, it's quite cool. And you remember this team? We played against it, and it seems like these dogs, these demons, do a lot of damage, so we want to get rid of them. But we also have Zadok, who has been moved now, and it doesn't bond well for our team. 
because he will be able to hit the bottom lane. So yeah, we need to shield before Zadok's ultimate. I'm afraid it might do too much damage to us. There we go. As you can see, even with shield, we barely survived it. So he's another red that needs to die. And there it is. Okay, so now those guys, they don't have their pets. So I don't think they are a threat. But we'll see. I want to see how much damage they can do without the pet. Barely anything. So that's good. <clears throat> So we can wait for our cooldowns and move to the next stage, which will be another Briva. So the second stage is usually not that hard. Okay, so we got two Fios and two guys with a Skite that can heal themselves. But Fios are the priority here, okay? And we want to single them out. Okay, if Fio pops an ultimate, he can do a lot of damage. The ultimate can hit the backline. So we want to kill him. Is he that? Who is that? Is that Theo? I think that was Theo. Yeah, okay, we took some damage, but we're good. We don't need to cast the ultimates here. And now we have... <clears throat> okay, again. Is that? Okay, that's 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 not an... He's not a threat. He can't reach the backline. We only care about heroes who can hit the backline. <clears throat> and we're going to re get rid of the enemy backline here. This case. So as you can see, I'm not even using Adolphus ultimate that often. I'm just using it to mitigate damage. Not on a cooldown. It's looking for the right targets. So if you don't have Adolphus, then you can definitely try and bring something else. What you have. Because Zarlof heal seems to be enough for these stages. But yeah, Wild Team. The reason why I kill those two in the back is because Wild Team has annoying targeting and if you want to play it on auto they will focus the ads okay now this is going to be hard i already see i can tell that this is going to be a hard level because we have gulendil two zarlovs and we have questetti and that is just the first level so this might take a while uh let's see what we can do we definitely need to kill gulendil first gulendil is such a monster but wow, there's so much damage to our front line yeah, okay, let's do it this way. Oh wow, this is this is why I said he's a monster. Ghoul Endel is a monster. So what I need is I need to have more haste here. Okay, so I increased the haste on Adolphus and hopefully he will be able to cast before Ghoul Endel. Okay, he is. I just didn't pay attention. So we need to slow down. I'm gonna cast it now. This is going to be a really hard level, definitely. Okay, so that doesn't matter. Okay, Gulendil didn't cast yet. And we lost Felicity. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna use this because Gulendil is about to cast his ultimate. Oh, he's dead. That, that was a waste. Okay, okay. I need to do it at speed two. Yeah, I probably need someone with a stun set to pass this. Yeah, so we again focus Gulendil with everything we've got. And it seems like we can kill him in a single rotation. Oh, if I if I waited a little bit, Felicity would have got healed as well on top of this. So if we can kill Gulendil and then keep Felicity alive, but Zarlov's ultimate is now and we didn't have a shield. And the tank is dead. That is going to be a hard level. Let's try again. Okay, they pull Felicity. <clears throat> Let's try. I want them to pull Adolphus. Adolphus is more tanky. Let's 
Oh wow, she almost got destroyed. So Adolphus can't shield now. Gulendal is casting his ultimate. Or not yet. Okay, two Zaralovs casted their ultimate as well. Adolphus is dead and he's dead. Okay, so basically whoever got pulled is dead. Um, so how do we pass it? Okay, so I added um, Ripikas to the team and we build the team around stun set. Okay, so he's got a stun set and low cooldown. We gave him Spiritual Incense Burner here. So we'll be abusing the cooldown on the Ripikas and Questetia to provide us with as much CC as possible while our damage dealers kill everything. And yes, okay, Adolphus got pinged. But that also means our healers, our healing team is way lower. So definitely want to shield now. So Questetia will get a heal. And Gulendal is dead. So now what we need to do is we need to survive Zarlov's. And this one is about to cast his ultimate. So let's try and nuke him down. Ow. Yeah, Questetia. No. Dang, Questetia needs to go. <clears throat> I don't think we can burst that Questetia too, that fast. Yeah, you can use Mar Maradith at as a tank on Alton. You can use any healer as a tank on Alton. I used Quarian. Okay, we need to get rid of Questetia, sadly. And, which means we need to absorb... Oh, that, that's a little bit too early. But yeah, we can't have another pull. If another pull happens... We're doomed. I mean, I could play a full resistance team. It happened anyway. We can't kill Questetia fast enough. So the second pull happens and yeah, okay, let's let's readjust it. Uh, maybe we'll let Glendal leave and get rid of... No, we can't. That's, that's annoying. So, so far, this is what we've been doing. Oh, I screwed up. Screwed up. Glendal survived. I mean, I'll, after that, I'll try to put resistance on. <clears throat> on the hero that is getting pulled. And we'll see if we, if we can avoid it. If we can avoid it on Adolphus, that means Questetia will try and constantly apply it to Adolphus. So that means everyone else in the back is safe. Okay, so Gulendal is dead. We'll use that. This is the hardest level so far. But still, we lose so much. There's so much damage. Okay, so let's try this resistance thing. Okay, let's try and switch the strategy. Um, let's get... One of the Zarlovs that dead, okay? I mean, it will it should be easier in theory. We're just gonna change Ripekas' ultimate to hit this one as well. It's not, look at this, we can't kill it. Annoying as hell. So we have better time killing Gulandal. But we're gonna die now to Gulendal's ultimate. Oh, maybe not. Let's try. Gulendal is there in the middle, so we're wasting damage if we get Eric to hit that. Okay, we survived that. Now I just want them to do whatever they do, and we need to kill Gulendal. Oh wow, okay, so far it's working good. I hope this is the hardest encounter there. And I just want this over. 
Okay, so change of the strategy, we just crowd control Gulendal and we focused our efforts elsewhere. Oh no, Ripikas. Ripikas has to die. Okay, he has to be the first one. So they always overtune Ripikas damage here. Yeah, we can cast Ripikas as well. I mean, we're doubling. Oh, did we still steal all his energy? That's good. Okay, I need to do this. There's a little bit of damage there. We could probably uh, separate the casts on Questetia Ultimate and Ripika's Ultimate because they do similar things, basically. <clears throat> but it works. So if it works, let's not change it. Let's just kill that Ripika's, who's so annoying. He survived so long. Okay, so let's do this now. I mean, I don't think there's <clears throat> anyone who can dish out damage to kill us. So we got full ultimates for the last battle, because I mean, I don't want to repeat the first battle. The first battle was the hardest. Berenger has to go down first. Let's see how tanky he is. I mean, I'm afraid to do that. No, let's keep Berenger. Um, let's try and kill Utior. Let's try and kill Utior first. He might be annoying here. So first we'll do Questetia. Bang. We'll shield now. It's too early, but we want to... Oh, Ripika's good. That's what we want, exactly. We want to steal energy from Utior so we can kill him in this rotation. Focus Fia next. Sounds all good. No, one, no one's casting ultimates yet, okay? So we're safe. We don't need the shield from Adolphus. Everyone is alive. Uh, we'll kill Fia. Because she grants debuff immunity. Okay, we got it. Yeah, the first the first level was definitely not good. I'm not sure if Berengar casted even at ultimate a single time. <clears throat> And I think this is what made this team so OP against the first encounter in this on this stage, because Gulendal couldn't do too much. And we could kill Zarlovs as well. But yeah, Questetia is annoying. <laughs> Playing against Questetia is annoying. So what level was that? Okay, so that was 59. That makes sense. They always make level 59 quite hard. Okay. So now the boss, we're going to try it once and we'll adjust. I don't remember what the boss does. Uh, so yeah, we got Questetia again. God dang. And we got Istarian. Okay. So let's try it once <clears throat> and then we'll adjust. See what happens here. Um, so we'll kill the bird. We know the bird is quite hard to deal with. So he does damage, he does a lot of damage, but I think it's even better if we do... Let's try it and take Questetia first. Seems like she's kind of squishy. And we got so much CC on her. Okay, she's going to pull soon. She didn't pull yet. That's, that's quite interesting, okay? So I didn't shield, that's why I didn't shield. Let's shield now so we can kill, uh, heal our Questetia. Now Questetia is dead. Uh, so if we kill the bird, there's no damage coming from this dude. So there's no damage threat in theory, but you never know, right? You never know what's happening. So let's take out this guy. I know he... Oh, wh wh why is there another bird? Were there two of those? Okay, let's... Oh, that was his bird, I think. Let's kill him now. Okay, and we move to the next day. Oh, that I didn't want that to happen anyway. Okay, we got four minutes. Let's not... Let's kill one of them. I mean, the thing with Felicity is she gains ultimate points when she crits, even with auto attacks. So that's quite cool. And, okay, Irna. Come on, Questetia. So what do we have here? Okay, Fios are the biggest threat. 
If you don't believe me, they really are. Fields are quite annoying. So what we're going to do is we're going to kill Fios. I oh, know, that will be better. And we'll shield Premstar's ultimate. That's the, that's the idea here. Okay, we go quest Tetia. Oh, no, we need to shield now. Joyce is also good at dealing damage, so... I, I'm not concerned about Premstar too much, truth to be told. But since we can get her here... I might need to recharge hand for this level. Yeah, and Joyce is safe there. There's a lot of damage here. Joyce will cast ultimate. Ultimate is this. Okay, so ultimate is not the damage. The battle skill is the damage. Okay, I need to cast this so it heals Ripper Cass. And now Premstar's ultimate might kill us. This is not an easy level here. I would definitely need a hand for the boss. We don't have much regeneration here. Okay, we got it. We're really low on HP. Um, so yeah, we need to kill one of these adds quickly. And I need to shield before the first ultimate. We want rotate attack penalty. This will heal a Ripper Cass. Oh, okay. That's how she works. Yeah, I never actually manually casted it. So yeah, there's a lot of damage here. Just a little bit longer. Now, okay, so he's about to cast ultimate. This ad is about to cast ultimate. The boss, not quite yet, but we will have Questetia ultimate before, and we want to get rid of this ad. Okay, at least one ad. If we kill him, then we mitigate the damage. Adolphus shield. Yeah, we need to. We need to do it on cooldown, basically. Okay, the ad is about to fall. We'll use attack down on this one. We'll kill the ad, even with with her, basically. And now I'm not sure if I should focus the adds or just the boss, because my made my damage dealers will be on. Oh, that was a mistake. Should have waited with this. Let's try and kill the boss. Yeah, haste set on Adolphus is helping me here quite significantly. I'm really avoiding a lot of damage. And I'll wait for defense down. So we do this. I, th I think we need to get rid of him just to avoid any unnecessary risks. Let's do that. It shouldn't take us long. With defense down, this. How much time do we have? We want to steal that energy as well. So we delay the boss's ultimate, so we give Adolphus a chance to heal back. All right, and we'll shield plus heal. That's amazing. And we've done it. So those two, they can do it on auto now. It doesn't matter. I mean, I said we've done it, but we quite not... I think we'll die. Yeah. So close. We need the hand. This will help us because uh, at a certain point we are just too low on HP. Back to the boss. Now we have a hand. We'll do this. We'll shield. We need to shield. We need to have that on cooldown. We'll kill the first hat. 
put an attack down. I was hoping now. This does a lot of damage. We definitely want to avoid this skill. Now. Okay, we can survive this. We had a sh shield. I still have a hand, right? So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to use Questetia's attack down on that skill. Great, it worked. We go one add down. Oh, this is the skill that hurts, so we need hand. I didn't put it right on time because I tried to cast the skill. Okay, okay, we still go one damage dealer. Let's try this. I need to rotate. I need to use Ripika's ultimate between those two. I mean, do I have time to kill Ad and the boss? Or do I need to? Okay, let's wait. We can survive the next hit. Okay, we used a shield, so we can survive this one, right? So what I'm gonna do now is, oh, I can't. <laughs> Crowd control, I mean, I could run resistance here. So let's not wait for it. Let's just do this. One minute. I'll kill the ad now, and then everyone will focus the boss. We shield this. She can do it whenever. He can cast it whenever. We'll steal that damage. Sorry, we'll steal the ultimate. So that means we can delay the shield. We'll put the shield on now. Okay, we go one minute to kill the boss without Felest. I think it will be close. Oh man, very close, but we won't get it. No one with damage is going to... Oh, come on, four seconds, 30k. Two, one, yay! <laughs> wow. <laughs> I should never question my heroes. Look at that. Four minutes. <laughs> yeah, but this team works, okay? We have so much CC with Rebecca's, so much debuffs, crowd control and everything. So the team I used at the 60, it's basically rip a cast with burner. We want this ultimate as much as possible. We still need to build accuracy, so it gives us a chance. Stun set to go through these annoying stages. Uh, stun set to help with the ads as well, to delay them. Then we have quest Hetia, haste again, build with a haste, serial set, build the damage. She's not scrolled. Um, and yeah, we have this attack penalty here. We have a pool healing prohibition. And uh, on Ripekas, we have a chance to have all of these amazing uh, buffs as well. Plus CC from his battle skill. Adolphus to shield. Extra um, <clears throat> sustain coming from the set. Huge shields. Uh, good haste as well. I mean, 46 on runes. <clears throat> Not too bad. Um, Felicity, which is remain, so she's defense down. That's why I was worried. Uh, not the right set. I mean, I should have used Gambler because this set has been changed. It's not so easy to keep the stack, so the Gambler set works well better on her. Um, and Eric with this set, I think I think the Emperor set is way better than this at the moment. 
and Eyeball of the Giant. The reason why I use Eyeball of the Giant is because I focus a single hero with the ultimate. So I boost that instead of boosting this, okay? This actually does more damage on um, on the bosses, but we care about nuking this single heroes. And yeah, this 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 was it. This is what this was it. Um, definitely not easy one, especially level fifty nine first fight. That is hard. This will be a brick wall for most people getting through Gulandil to Zarlov's Questetia and Horus. That is horrifying. I was that was a good experience. This this wasn't that bad. I managed to on my first try to make sure Questetia doesn't pull anyone, which was a weird interaction. Didn't happen the next few times, and the boss took uh, took me three times, and we managed to pull it off. So yeah, quite happy with it. This this means that now my pillars, all this hard content is done, and I still have a month to play the game. So I feel like a whale in season one, where they finished that ages ago and i was still trying to do it by the end so yeah quite happy about it i hope you enjoyed the video if you do please click the like button and consider subscribing to my channel as always thank you for watching stay safe bye